They finally did it, Skywars got an update. There are tons of new maps, a lot of other changes, as well as new kits, and even a new way to speed up your leveling process by a ton. So let's get into it. Hey last boys and girls and welcome to this video. First of all, we are going to play on every single one of these new maps that I already teased. And uh, later, we actually also are going to check out the new kits that they added, which those are some really wild kits. I'm actually going to consider to also use them myself in the future. And uh, last but not least, we're actually going to check out the new level up energy potion which is actually making it 10 times easier to level up in Skywars. It is unreal how fast leveling up with these potions is. I personally don't really play Skywars, like, ever. This is my first time playing Skywars in probably a long, long time. I don't know how long, actually. I'm really bad at healing PvP, projectile PvP, all of that, as you can probably already see. So I don't even have nearly enough coins to, like, uh, afford all of this like the potions and stuff. I've seen it in other people's videos that these are actually really crazy. Let's concentrate on taking this man out. That shouldn't be the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing, that's great. To be fair, I also don't really know what I'm doing. At the very end, we're going to check out the leveling up potions and yeah, what do I think of this map? Uh, first of all, I'm unsure if I can win this, since I have like a bow and stuff, but uh, this map is really nice, probably one of my new favorite Skywars maps. And just like that, we got it. Uh, yeah, really nice map, yes. Uh, how about we get into the next one, huh? And here we already are in the next one, as you can already tell, I'm not in uh, normal mode, instead I'm in insane mode, and I have to admit, I don't play this mode ever. I don't play Skywars ever, but especially this mode, I just never touch. Whenever I play Skywars, which is not often, I play normal mode. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, we have to get out of here. Oh wait, especially since this guy is apparently just laggy. Okay, nothing to worry about here. Oh wait, someone has, oh no, a Nick has a rainbow kill message. I believe that is it for us. I'm pretty sure as soon as you see a rainbow kill message and that is the guy that it belongs to, you're just done for. Like, I can't do anything anymore to win this. Rainbow kill message belong to people that are incredibly good at the video. How did they do that? What? Uh, is that some thing I'm not aware of? I mean, I'm destroying them, so rainbow kill message, I don't know if that's worth anything. They're not really good at the video game, surprisingly. Like, I would really expect them to be, like, really good at the video game. Uh, good for them that I am not really good at the video game myself, so I don't really have any chances of winning. Like, at all, probably. How are they doing that? I don't know, maybe they're- Ah, Time Warp Pearls, probably. I believe they have Time Warp Pearls. Uh, I have to be honest here, first of all, I really like this map, <laughs> my review. Uh, I'm really undergeared here, and they are, like, really good. I keep destroying them, yeah, but I don't know. Um, I haven't really played recently- Wait, they don't have healing! Oh my god, they're dead. Why did they have a rainbow kill message? I'm so bad at Skywars, but I kept destroying them. GG's to you, guys, but- I don't know, it's weird. GG's, man. <laughs> and just like that, we are on the map Bonsai with probably the worst chest I've ever seen. First of all, let's talk about that last game. <laughs> Most of these other maps so far, I had to like try twice or maybe three times. This is, for example, my three or third uh, time playing this. Uh, but the last game was flawless and we had such a sweaty fight and there was like a rainbow player watch us crazy. Now about Bonsai, usually I don't like these Asian style maps. I, I don't know, I don't consider them aesthetically pleasing for some reason. I just do not like this style. I'm probably pretty alone with this opinion. Most people like these maps, I feel like. But I just personally, I don't like it. And uh, this one though, it has such a great layout, I just really enjoy it. It's like a really good looking map. Oh, also you have strength, so please do not touch me, thank you. 
It's just a really good looking map from like the layout. I feel like this is really good to play on. Then again, I'm Bellwars main. I don't play Skywars in my free time. I don't know if this is good for general Skywars gameplay, but I feel like it is pretty good. I really enjoy it myself just playing on it. Just from the layout, it's pretty good. And uh, how about we hit this cool shot and how about we do not actually die to this person now since this game has been uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, bonsai, pretty cool. How about next map? <laughs> now this is the next new map, and just by my intonation, you can already tell my opinion towards this map. It is probably the worst map anyone has ever created. Not only on Hypixel, but also beyond that. And not only beyond that, but also not publicly, just in general, the worst map you have ever seen, I have ever seen everything. And the worst part about it is not that it is just completely ugly, I mean, look at it. But instead, the worst part about this map is not how ugly it is, but instead, look at this. We have Long Island, and now we have this, Deadland. A map with houses that are trying to pretend they are houses, but instead they are not. This is just a pile of blocks that is worth nothing. No matter how hard this construct is going to try to become a house, it will just never become a real house. And that is something I'm not ashamed of saying, because this map is actually horrible. I have tried winning on this so many different times already, I'm honestly sick of it. And even before I tried winning on it so many different times, I already thought that this was the worst map I've ever seen. Just alone from the houses not having any interior. What are those houses? I do not... I, I can't fathom what they thought about this. Alright, now we only... <laughs> I seem really salty because I am. Like, this is such a bad map, I'm, and I'm just forced playing on it until I win. And if I do not win here, which is not gonna happen, I will win, then I am actually going to cry. Alright, this is the worst map ever. There's going to be a video in a couple weeks where I go more in depth on this. This is... oh my god. <laughs> Now this map is called Deserted Dunes, and while I do like the aesthetics, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the gameplay aspect, because this midsection, and a lot of new maps have this, is just going to make it so there's going to be a huge fight between many many people, and uh, it's just uh, an entire mess. I, I just really do not enjoy that too much. So while it looks pretty good, I probably won't play too much on it. Another thing, last game you probably heard me talking about uh, how I will talk about Deadland in like a future video in a couple weeks. And yes, I want to take the time to actually talk about my content strategy. Basically, I want to give you, I already mentioned that, I want to give you one video a week. And I have a bunch of different Sky Wars, Bad Wars videos planned for the next couple of weeks, actually. It was actually way too close. <laughs> and uh, that is going to make it so you are going to have a Bad Wars or Sky Wars video every single week from like now on until, I don't know, I don't want to do that anymore or something. <laughs> I have video ideas planned weekly up until March of 2024, I believe. But now, this map is really good looking, and how about we just win on it? I would really enjoy that. But this man is not going to make it too easy for us. Uh, trying to choke point, I won't let that happen. Yeah, pretty good map, have to admit. Next one. This map is called Glacier, and every single person that I know that is good at Skywars told me that this is not a good map to play on. Please do not play on this if you want to win video games. It's not good for gameplay. All I can say is it looks good. I enjoy it. I also enjoy playing on it. I like the concepts, playing... Okay, we're just getting rolled by this cheater. Which is just what happens, I guess. So everyone has been saying this is such a bad map and it reminds me of Sky Clash and whatnot. And I don't know, I've never played Sky Clash, I'm not old enough. Or at least back then I didn't- Ooh. Wait, I got a kill! LOL! Yo! I don't know how I got that kill. Okay, I do not want to lose video games here. But now I am going to try hard because I want to win video games. I do not want to record this ten more times. This is the guy that keeps blowing everything up! Now I see. The person blowing everything up is on the other side of the map fighting against someone, so I will go for this other person here just to get rid of them. And here they are. 
What? Okay, they were insanely laggy. I see, I see. <laughs> and now I will go... Wait, did they fall in the void or something? No, they just played a bit or something. Oh yeah, they thought they would fall in the void and they didn't or something. I don't know. And just like that, we have one video game. So yeah, Glacier, pretty good map in my opinion. I like playing on it. Next map. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Metali Temple does not only look really good, but it also actually feels really good to play on. It just feels kind of clean. You always have these possibilities of clutching everywhere. It is an insane and awesome map. I really enjoy playing on it. I also mentioned how I will showcase the two new kits at the end of the video. And after that, I will showcase, uh, or not showcase, but I will talk about the so-called level up energy potion. And let me tell you that much the level up energy potion is game changing. If you are trying to get stars in Skywars fast, then this is the thing you are looking for. It is actually insane. I will tell you at the end of the video how you can get stars way faster in Skywars. You should probably watch that if you want to have stars in Skywars. It's, it's insane. Alright, I do not have any projectiles left, so I will probably just die here. It's not like I'm good at projectiles. But if I have no projectiles at all, that is just not winnable. Oh god, they have projectiles, obviously they do. How will I beat Skywars Sweat without projectiles? Oh, by just killing them, okay. Well, yeah, Metali Temple, really good looking map, really nice to play on. Let's get into the next map. Stronghold actually looks really good. I enjoy the aesthetic, but there is one problem. It is just an entire choke point. The complete midsection is a choke point. All around this little stronghold there, there's a trench, like all around this, uh, with the exception of these stairs, obviously. And I actually, the one game I came close to winning on this map, someone just jumped at me, I believe the last person, with the AKB rod, and they just hit me into the trench, and I was like, yeah, cool. Why do people follow me? <laughs> okay, finally! That was probably like uh, too many attempts. Anyways, uh, next map. For the sake of this video, I will call this map YTD. I really don't know how else to pronounce it, and I really hope YouTube algorithm is not going to think I am saying any sus words here. Let's be real here, I actually like how it looks and how it feels to play on. It's it's a really great map, honestly. Now let's see if we can get this mid chest. We probably can't. Instead, we are going to get beaten by this player that is like 10 times as good as I am. Or not. We could also just flawless him, that works out. <laughs> that completely confused me, I have to be honest here. I just can't seem to hit this person. What's wrong with that? I didn't have any more projectiles, but it worked out. Alright, one more map to go, and then we're gonna get into the kits. Let's go. Workshop also just looks and feels stunning. I just like this map all around. One thing I consider a little bit, I don't know, controversial maybe, or maybe it is going to be really annoying to fight against, but as you see down there, there are these huge structures. I believe they're trying to imitate like roto blades. I, I am unsure. But these huge structures are going to be such a pain to fight against. I can already see noobs as well as just pros and everyone going down there in uh, an attempt to just camp you out. And it's going to work out so well that it already hurts to just think about. Anyways, I would enjoy to actually win this. So how about we, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, Chrono Breaker, sure, something we have to live with nowadays. Uh, but that's also a kit I will showcase after this, so it is worth... I don't know what happened there, but great. Uh, I don't want to mention once again that it's worth staying till the end, but uh, it's probably going to be pretty interesting. I have personally never used Chrono Breaker or Chiromancer. I don't know what the other one was called again. Uh, so it is also going to be my first impression. I'm pretty intrigued to see how that's going to turn out, actually. So I guess these rotary blady structures actually saved me for... They have an awkward crowd. They straight up just have a knockback rod, and I do not have any more healing. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> Maybe I have the chance to sneakily hit them off from behind or something. Unless they have something to teleport back. Okay, yeah. Okay, never mind. They are like 10 times better than me. Oh, oh god, okay. We actually won against that huge... Also, we got seven kills. Anyways, let's review the kits. <laughs> now, they also added new kits into Skywars, and we will obviously try them in the following games. So, to play with these uh, kits, I obviously have to buy them first. I'm unsure if I can afford that. It says 500 heads. I do not know how many I have, but I will buy it somehow. How can I buy it? Here, or... How does it work? We have to click it here. Uh, unlock the kit. The heads required for other will increase. Ooh. Okay, uh, Chrono Breaker is now in my possession. And last but not least, hopefully we can also afford this kit. A thousand heads? Uh, no. Unfortunately, I will not be able to review this one. But Chrono Breaker is basically everything that needs to be reviewed. That is like the kit. The important kit. The one kit that is important. So, uh, yeah, let's just play with Chrono Breaker. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Chrono Breaker is a kit that doesn't give you any overpowered armor. It doesn't give you any overpowered weapons. You don't even get, like, projectiles or anything I personally use farmer for. Uh, but instead, it gives you your echo. And that is this little clock in my hotbar here. And once you press that, you actually get teleported back to where you were exactly 10 seconds ago. And if you ask me, that is pretty decent. That obviously comes with a price. And the price is the cooldown being insane. In fact, I don't even know how huge this cooldown is. I believe it's like 60 seconds. Because I've never been able to use it two times in my game so far. I always died before being able to use my chrono again. Which, uh, I mean, I'm not good at Skyway, so that makes sense, but uh, this cooldown is pretty long. Oh, this is actually really good that we killed him inside here so we can have the OP sword. They didn't have an OP sword. <laughs> oh, okay, we got him. Yes! We actually did it! Can I use my chrono? Yes, I can use it after the game ended. <laughs> uh, pretty funny, yeah. Now let me tell you something about the level up energy potion, because that is pretty insane and probably what you've been waiting for. Now last but not least, there are potions with a bunch of different effects. Most interesting of all, the level up energy potion. In order to be able to use this, you need to have at least 10,000 heads to your name, and one of these costs 3 obolts and 2.5 million coins. Once activated, you will be able to use it for an entire 25 wins during which you receive 4 extra Skywars XP per kill, 10 extra Skywars XP per win, a 30% chance to get double swords per win, a 30% chance to get increased Skywars XP per win, and a 30% chance to get increased coins per win. 
This is pretty insane since it allows for way faster story grinding than before, completely shadowing the meta of Skywars levels, but sadly also making them partially pay to win. Since you can buy Skywars coins for real life money, you can basically buy the level up energy potion for real life money, so you can basically get stars by paying real life money. I consider that pretty unfortunate. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, you can help me out by subscribing to my channel for free. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night and goodbye.